can I, can I, can I, can I? I remember when you lame player, hated a player, player, now the same lame player. They call a player male. Say, what the, what you talking, talking, talking that funky, funky, dick, dick, dick about my face. Wearing that monkey, 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 mon
pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled down. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity, nothing big happened, but then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Allen now on first down. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That burst good for 20 and a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Operating from the red zone now. Allen. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown, Bills. Dawson knocks a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills are an extra point away from taking the lead. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field. But now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Well, you don't see that often. He just mishit it, and it goes out of bounds. Well, I know sitting up here, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I know we're both thinking the same thing. Isn't it easy enough to keep it between the sidelines? Because unless you're intentionally doing it for some reason, well, that's a costly mishit, and now you put your team in a bad spot. So good field position for the Packers as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. A good start to the drive here as that's caught out on the left side. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. They started this drive with terrific field position, and it's going to get even better after that play. Had great options with where they started, so they decided to press their advantage, and it paid off. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now Rodgers. A complete once again to Watson. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Well, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. A big seam, and he might go all the way. Pass the 20. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Brandon, we spent time with this team before the game, and there was never any indication that they did not like their kicker. Well, it shows right now that they didn't like their kicker. Why didn't they just put it through the goalpost and take the lead? That is going to be the question that has to be answered. I don't know about you, but I'm skipping my flight. I'm going to the post-game press conference <laughs> to find out what they were thinking. Instead of playing conservative, they go through the air, and what a stunning turn of events. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. 
Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling. And he fires one that's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. After one, 14-6 our score on EA Sports. Facing a second and three, ball on the 10. Now Allen. His throw incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Allen now looks to throw, and that is incomplete. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, maybe said, forget about the sticks. We want six. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And the Packers are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. Packers all set to go again. That means we'll see Christian Watson. He's done his part, but so far it's been in a losing effort, so they've got to fix something. But that doesn't mean changing anything, the way they're throwing the ball around and his catches and production. Keep doing that. They're going to have to fix some things likely on defense to try and slow down their opponents. But so far, he's north of 100 yards receiving. So they will tread backward on the holding penalty. And I know that they're going to get coached up and they'll get yelled out a little bit, but let's face it, it is hard not to do at the speed and pace that they play. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. Oh, wide open, complete. And he does take it in for the touchdown, but a flag on the field, and I don't think this is going to stand. Yeah, don't put the points on the board just yet. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. So from Bay deep, deep in their own territory, all the way into the end zone. Do you think they expected to score on that one? I'm not sure they expected to score, but they also showed that they're not averse to taking a little bit of a risk there, right? Taking a chance because the normal call is take care of the football, run be it, safe. be safe. Instead, they put it in the air and took a gamble, and it paid off in a big way. That wasn't an analytics call. That wasn't a fantasy guy's call. That was like a video game call right there. It was a little bit of a video game call, but it worked. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. In a close game like this, Charles, those interceptions like they had on the last drive could be costly, but here they've got another opportunity to seize control of this game. And they better take advantage of it because otherwise, if they end up losing by one score, they'll relive this over and over and over until they have another opportunity to wipe it away. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -to -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. So 
So after the INT, it's Rodgers. And it's caught. And the Packers are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Different pass rushes are designed for different things. Sometimes you want to keep the quarterback in the pocket. Sometimes you want him to flush. I don't know exactly how this one was designed, but they made sure they moved him to his right. He got out of the pocket. Unfortunately for him, he was hit as he tried to throw the ball, and that resulted in an incompletion. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. I remember a coach telling me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against them offensively. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football. Wow, so wipe out the INT roughing the passer. What a disaster. An absolute disaster, and you hope their lockers are not right next to each other <laughs> for the post game. Safe to say one is not buying the other dinner. Rogers throw brought in by Watson. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys. To... And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. Tell you what, he did not have much time there to scan the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly, yeah. meaning the guys in front? And Rodgers intercepted a third time. And the Bills are going to take over at their own 41. And that could turn out to be a giant play, Charles. You've got an offense driving to take the lead, but they're turned away on the INT. And I think that we might look back on this in the fourth quarter and say, that was the play of the game. So after the INT, it's Allen. He's got a man complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. A quick throw knocked away, it's incomplete. Well, based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. Allen again here on second and 10. Working the middle here, that's complete to Knox, the tight end. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. He has a first down, and that catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now on the afternoon. Here's Allen to throw it. Touchdown! Gabriel Davis, a 9-yard touchdown grab as his guys are able to extend their lead. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And this is no good. It's a missed extra point. Boy, in a tight game, how important might that turn out to be here as the second half rolls along? Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Nixon now from his end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. 
They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. And this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He finds Watson complete. Finding room at midfield. 20! Touchdown, Packers! Christian Watson, 84 yards. And the Packers have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. It's been quite the game for him individually. A trio of touchdown catches now. So pick a route, any route. Whatever you want him to run, he's going to do it and do it well and end up in the end zone. This has really been fun to watch. So now Rodgers will lead the Packers up to go for two. Rodgers will throw for it. And that is caught for the two points. They didn't want the tie. They rolled the dice and they take the lead. That felt like a tone setter, didn't it? Forget tying the ball game and feeling like we're just hanging with it. We're going to go ahead and push it to a one-point lead, and that just changes the complexion of the whole game. McKenzie now from his end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So already not the best to kick returns there, but that penalty, that adds insult to injury and backs him up even closer to the goal line. Yeah, not ideal field position to begin a drive, is it? Because the extra pressure now goes on the offense. They've got to get some early yards and get away from the shadow of their own goal post. What every offense wants to do in this situation, get two first downs to help out with field position at the least. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Allen. Fighting Knox there, complete. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. That one goes for eight yards. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. On first down, Allen. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Over well, the dime worked on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. To throw again on second down. Allen setting up the screen for Cook. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. And so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Going deep for Diggs. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So the defense helping him out a little bit here late in the fourth. Yeah, and you're exactly right. And when you're the one doing the chasing, You'll take a little help from the other guys, won't you? So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and 10. Allen's throw here, taken in by Knox. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, Cook. 
And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Here's Allen on first and 10. Gets this one to Morris. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. Yeah, he's got it. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Now the Packers are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Here's Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Tommy Sweeney from three yards out. And the Bills answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll make this a six-point game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Nixon now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So Aaron Rodgers in his offense. Down by six. A little over 80 ticks to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Back to throw. Rodgers. Watson has it, what a catch. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Obviously a big first down right there. Yeah, they still got a hustle. They got to get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. But I don't think necessarily you need to spike it, but they've got to continue to move quickly. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Now Rodgers. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to let it fly. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw is Rodgers. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Back to back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. So now third and 10. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletions since. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense as he'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Ah! 
So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Rodgers to throw. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way to the red zone now on first down. And he's in for the touchdown and barring a miracle. You still got an extra point that's pretty crucial. That's right. Just one more element to complete the victory. set for a big two-point conversion. They'll try and throw for it. It's complete. And he's going to get in for the two. So a crazy call. But they've got their two-point lead in the closing stages. Well, they got it, but this just made no sense. And why did they go for two? I have no answer for you. But fortunately for them, they got it done. So they don't have to answer to us at all. After the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. Allen. Oh, and that nearly ended it. That should have been intercepted, but he cannot corral it, and that is a lifeline there with third down coming up. One final shot. They'll look to throw. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although on that last play, they were so backed up, it would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play. And